What up, it's your boy Dark Bad Guy again with another video, and today we're here with um, a very interesting one here. Uh, this is also from the stream. Um, really, really fun video that we watched here um, of just straight up Iraqi being Iraqi. Um, it, it was really fun to watch, hilarious, and actually pretty insightful. Um, so, first things first, I absolutely believe that you should watch the original video first uh by fifth fifth fither um yeah it's very well put together it's funny um and like i said it's also very insightful um really enjoyed this one it's a it's a bit long um but i mean if you're here if you're a long time uh subscriber or, or just lurker of this channel you know that most videos here are kind of they're not on the short side <laughs> Um, and this video that we watch here is also, uh, pretty long and because I'm stopping and pausing and talking and all this other stuff, of course, it's going to be even longer here. So won't spend too much time with the whole preamble. I just wanted to say, go and watch Fither's video. Um, and whether, you know, I would suggest watching it before this one, but if you want to watch this one, then go and, uh, give fifth or all his view likes subs subscription whatever um after then that's cool too just as long as you give him his due um respect and and no uh what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> it, it, listen you get it um so with all that being said um this is gonna be a long one so sit down uh get grab a snack get some popcorn a drink um anything really um and chill out and watch the enigma that is iraqi with me hey hey my nigga said hey wait what is this hang on uh hirohiko iraqi's most bizarre quotes okay yeah, how's it going? And welcome to another JoJo hear about Doom this? video. We well, have an right, idea. So I have a uh, you react to the fan made. I I would say that eyes, I catches from like part three through like six. The especially is a like little stand like or uh, stand stats screens, kind of uh, but more detail. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. I'd I'd be down. Sounds kind of cool, actually. Fashion and his love of pop culture and movies. Over the years, he said a lot of really, really fascinating stuff. So I figured it would be fun. I don't know why, but I thought that he was about to say over the years he said a lot of really, really racist shit. <laughs> that should have been funny. And to kind of compile some of my favorite quotes of his into a video and kind of talk about them. And this would not have been possible without the awesome interview section of the JoJo Wiki. I'll have a link to it in the description, but. I highly, highly recommend checking it out and just reading through some of the- Also, Iraqi a handsome man. What the fuck going on? Why that nigga handsome? Fuck going on? Fuck going on? These interviews and like the different authors notes he includes in various chapters and- Iraqi is an and actual Hamon user. He really does not- he... into the You don't look like it. That nigga handsome. Kind of like the manga he's creating. So yeah, link in the description. Definitely go check some of these interviews out. They're super cool. So this is kind of a weird eclectic He's 60? Just like really strange Good lord. stuff he said and some stuff that I think is genuinely really interesting. I'm going in kind of sort of chronological order here in terms of like when these things were said, but it's kind of a mishmash, but let's get into it. I really enjoy reading fan letters. Often they are filled with a whole lot of stuff not at all related to readers' thoughts about JoJo, including things like self-profile, school life, and hobbies. I found myself searching for that type of letter first. Just as readers want to know the fate of JoJo, so too do I want to know what kind of people those readers are. Mm. I went to it's kind of a bar. Kind of a bar, honestly. Kind of a bar. I, I like that. Nigga said, I'm just as invested in my fans as my fans are invested in me. That's kind of, mm, no wonder that nigga kind of goaded. That kind of, mm, I like that. I like that. Bro has never not looked good. Easy 
Top concert. It was really cool, and, and I liked it a lot. Araki's so cute, right? There's so many different <laughs> quotes throughout this that I just stopped and thought, like, that's adorable. Like, this just sounds like top the cutest human being ever. About that's when funny. I was a kid, I won a bicycle as a prize from Jump. And even now, I still use it. I feel like it's wondrously connected through fate. No. Yeah, throughout a lot of these, you're going to see a lot of these, like, little weird musings and just, like, That's yeah, cool. throughout a lot of these, you're going to see this kind of pop up where Araki sort of thinks about various themes. That <laughs> this man and often. will say fate such profound really things. Important. And so it's kind of interesting. <laughs> and then make a poop joke events, like, in the next how chapter. How much these events in his life kind of influence his Jesus storytelling. Christ. Like, winning a bike from Shun and Jump. How much that kind of influenced his perception of, like, destiny and fate and... How that in turn influenced his storytelling. Adults have trouble respecting the young. If the head of state was a 20-year-old man, everyone would make fun of him, even if he was very competent. For the same reason, when I see a young mangaka being arrogant, I want to kick his ass. I know that's extreme, and I regret having such aggressive temperament. I will try to soften, to respect the young, and to accept to learn from them. It's funny to think- Nah, this is nigga. This, this nigga Rocky is me on guy. This nigga Rocky is me on God. I am, I, I, I don't know, man. This nigga Rocky starting to sound like me for real. <laughs> he just like me. This nigga said, I just want to kick their ass. <laughs> oh man, he's great, bro. This guy is great that this was a rocky when he was writing battle tendency as in in the fucking 1980s i could totally relate though Araki of the 1980s this may be sudden but i don't believe in aliens i've seen a ufo in the past and i'm pretty sure it was an optical illusion and in any case i want to say so what but i've just read a book from someone named hiroshi minamiyama and with all the super realistic details i'm beginning to ask myself if those aliens are really here in any case it's fun to have my imagination stimulated like this i'm really into that nigga is doing top shelf coke. That nigga got peyote lace blunts or something, bro. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know what's going on with him. Yo, finally I'm in time for a live stream. Yo, what's good, bro? We here, we here, we here. We here. Darts at the moment. It's a great way to relieve stress at work, but now there are holes in the wall. I'm looking for a VHS of the TV series Roots. If you have one, what? please let me make a copy of it. What? I really love the idea of, you know, some reader. A Rocky watching Roots is fucking. I knew this nigga was for. I knew this nigga was for. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you can just tell when somebody a nigga, but not really a nigga. You can just tell when somebody's a nigga, but not really a nigga. When they not really a nigga, but they but they really a nigga. You can tell Rocky's one of them. We're like he's not a nigga, but you can tell he's a nigga for real. You know what I'm saying? It's really is, it's it's really weird. It's really weird, but that's that's the only way I can explain. You he ain't a nigga, but you can tell he is a nigga. You know it's it's, hey man. Want to have a Negro spiritual state? <laughs> Nigga said, Stand the power, wade in the water. <laughs> Damn it, bro. This, oh man. Uh, yo, what up, my nigga? What's good, bro? What's good with you, dog? Uh, if you think he did coke, then he probably, <laughs> he probably did actual meth while writing <laughs> part eight. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That shit is this shit is funny as fuck. Welcome to the stream, Mara. Sees this as like, oh man, I have a, a copy of Roots. And he shows up at fucking Araki's office and he's like, I hey, would man, have. I had a copy of Roots. <laughs> Rocky is just like, oh sweet, I, come on in, man. Uh, Let me make uh, a copy. Uh, Recently, please, please. Been giving me Barbie dolls as souvenirs, but but I'm not a Barbie collector. In our neighborhood, <laughs> there's a strange cat that frequently shows up that we've given the nickname Kniku Neko, which means muscle cat. The sight of its raging shoulder muscles is hilarious. There's this house in my neighborhood that has a monstrous two meter tall bird in an iron cage. It's so eerie. See, I kind of wonder if this ended up being the inspiration for Pet Shop. I'll have to double check and see like what chapter this correlates to, but I can totally see a Rocky seeing this fucking six foot tall ass bird and being like, oh. What? Every black person has a copy of Roots and the color purple at their mama house, yeah. Um. What the fuck? Iraqi, dude. 
Oh shit, it would be cool if there was like a stand user bird. I went to buy some books on babies and childcare to use as material for my manga. It was very embarrassing. So I double checked the chapter that this quote comes from. Was this from, during part four? Yeah, this is like the very start of the fight against Death 13. What? Now, obviously, it's stand user as a baby. So I assume that's the correlation is he was trying to find books about babies. Oh my like, God. I was going to say draw an accurate baby, but the Manish boy looks nothing like a real baby. Fuck so no. I don't know. I went bowling on Koseki Sensei's team, and then I naturally won the championship. Everyone's awful at bowling. All right, so this one I thought was really, really interesting, and I actually like what? learned something from this. When you start working in the real world, you're often asked to trade business cards. But ever since I became a manga artist, I've had to say, oh, I don't have a business card, sorry. Well, I finally designed a business card with the mark you see above on. Now, even if I'm overseas, people can figure out what profession I work in. The international sign of a manga artist. The big callus on the finger. So if you're a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you might be familiar with this like logo <laughs> over here. This is the logo for Lucky Land Communications, which is like oh, Rocky's man. company. They're basically the ones who own the rights to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So if you've ever seen any of the JoJo anime he or fucking JoJo cried, bro. merchandise or whatever, there's a good chance you've seen this logo. Dude right? is smoking so top shelf booth, bro. Logo, obviously, but I wasn't entirely sure what it was supposed to be. So yeah, that's what the Lucky Lamb logo is supposed to be. It's a hand with a callous finger, because that's, I guess, what manga artists all have. So yeah, that's just a cool fun fact that I that's, didn't know. That is cool, reasons. though. People often that say is that cool. prostitution is the world's oldest profession. Well, that's what I learned in history class, at least. For those who don't know what prostitution is, ask your father. Ask your it father. Is really the oldest profession. I found an even older one. I can't prove it, but I bet it goes way back. That profession is the storyteller who tells scary stories. A long, long time ago, people sat under the starry night sky, gathered around a fire, and listened to an old man tell frightening tales. They listened intently and let their imaginations take them into the world he described. Okay, that's enough for tonight. We want to hear more. I'll give you this fruit if you tell us more. I'll tell you tomorrow. Now go to bed. That's the kind of story I hope to keep on telling. And yeah. I, I, let, let me tell and, and, and I want, and I want y'all to, to like truly, truly understand this. I would pay anything to just smoke with this nigga, bro. Could you imagine smoking some loud with this nigga, bro? Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. You probably come out, out of that room, a new man. Just, just, just smoking some fucking loud. Oh my god, man. Uh, y'all can turn it up higher. There you go. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. This, this nigga, this nigga. Yeah, I different. think this little like anecdote from Iraqi especially hits pretty hard, considering how long JoJo's Bizarre Adventure has been in syndication, right? Like, there are certainly many people in Japan who, like, started reading JoJo's Bizarre Adventure in the 80s and have continued to read it wow. up until the present day in the year that of is War so 2022. Crazy. Like, there are many that people who went from being children to middle-aged adults just about reading this manga, right? No one realizes this, but as of December, I will wow. have been a manga artist for 10 years. I'm not saying this because I want someone to congratulate me. Ten years, it's only two words, but it's an amount of time that makes me go, hmm. When I consider that I spent my entire 20s working in manga again, I go, hmm. But I'm grateful to God and my ancestors for this feeling. In my, in my entire life, I've only seen a ghost one. Holy shit, this picture right here is hard as fuck. That's a hard pick of rock. <laughs> where, did, where did this shit, who did this? Who did this? That is, that is great. It happened a few years ago when I traveled in England. I stayed in a hotel that used to be an old castle. It was only 8 o'clock, but I was exhausted, so I went to bed early. A few minutes after I laid down, a woman came out through the slightly open bathroom door. I saw that there was blood on her wrist. The female ghost floated across the room. Standing beside my bed, she looked down at me with a blank expression. I thought to myself, I'm seeing a ghost. I thought I had no psychic powers. But a moment later, I thought, I'm really sleepy. I don't want <laughs> I don't want to deal with this right now. As if she knew what I was thinking. The ghost no, 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 no. Right, bro. I have never met somebody that has the exact same train of thought as me as much as Iraqi does. Because <laughs> that's exactly, bro, you know how many times, like real shit, you know how many times in my in my life that like I, I've dealt with something like that where I see some, some like really, in, in fact, I was just telling, I think I was just 
I don't know who I was telling this to. I don't know if it was my girlfriend or not, but I was telling this to somebody. I was like, bro, I can sleep any, like if I'm, if I'm sleep, now it was one of my friends. I was, I, I was like, yo, if I'm sleep, there is not a damn thing that's going to stop me from sleeping. Like if, if somebody comes into my house or I see something wild in my house and, and, and you know, I'm in bed, I'm sleep, nigga, I'm going to, I'm going to look at that thing. I'm going to be like, oh shit. And I'm going to go back to sleep because nothing's going to stop me from sleep. I don't have time for like that. Oh my God. This nigga is, this nigga me for real, bro. This nigga is me for real. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Honestly, you should write an alternate part seven. Wait, what? Just say no to your possession. Ghosts can't take control of you without your consent. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Depression turned to sadness and she disappeared. This really happened. People say I must be dreaming, but I swear it really happened. I just love the idea of this spooky ghost is like trying to haunt Araki, right? And he's oh just like, God. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> and the ghost gets discouraged. I bought this stabler style nose hair trimmer, but it doesn't work at all. I was deceived by its appearance. There's a lot to be afraid of out there in the world. Here are my top 10 personal fears. Number 10. Death. Number nine, organisms that can cling to the ceiling, like cockroaches, etc. Number eight, delusions. Number seven, my acquaintances. Number six, getting an unlucky fortune. Number five, hospitals. Number four, destruction of the environment. Number three, confined spaces. Number two, strangers. And finally, the illustrious number one spot, the dark. What do you think? How is my list different from yours? Yo, everybody in the comments, please post your top ten This nigga is the greatest human being to ever walk the this nigga's jesus this nigga gotta be like something i don't know what this nigga rocky is, is different <laughs> he's just different <laughs> nigga said number seven my acquaintances <laughs> this nigga is so fucking Oh, I would, I would do, I would do anything just to, just to sit down with this man, just have a, just have a conversation, bro. I, I just have a conversation, bro. I slept when the stream started, planning to rewatch. I woke up and it's still going. You must be new here. <laughs> oh my god, death is so slow because he's a vampire. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god uh as a christian i hope i hope so are uh, so oh my god as a christian i so hope a rocky is, is return of lord of our lord and savior he gotta be he gotta be he got this nigga's different bro fears thank you when i was growing up one day, my mother came down with a cold and asked me to help her. She said, would you mind going to the neighborhood doctor to get me my medicine? I was waiting in the reception area when the doctor came out and said, All right, Araki, could okay. roll up your sleeve. It's time for your shot. What? I shouted. I'm not here for me. Just kidding, he said. I'd been terrified, but I also thought it was a hilarious trick. Looking back, I think that experience led me to become a modern creator. I don't get it. What's the correlation? This, what? This nigga, this nigga's brain is working on another dimension. It, it's gotta be like, there's no way this nigga is like, he can't be from our world, right? This nigga's not even making. This nigga is not making sense, but making all the sense. Rocky. <laughs> For a long time, I've felt bad for bicycles left sitting out to be drenched by the rain. But for the past few years, what I've really felt pity for are the blinking red lights on answering machines that let their owners know a message is waiting for them. When I get back from a week-long vacation and see that light, I wonder, were you really blinging this whole time? I truly feel bad for those lights. I think they should be able to slack off while their owner isn't around. What the fuck is this nigga? What is he cooking? What is he cooking? Somebody explain to me what is he cooking? I need to know what is this man cooking? What is he cooking? I I I, I need an answer. I need an answer. I need an answer right now. Cause what is he cooking? 
what is he randomly generated sentence from, from ai makes more sense <laughs> bro this nigga rocky gotta be a randomly generated person bro like it i <laughs> this man makes the chainsaw man manga look like a normal person <laughs> and i heard that nigga's a demon oh my god and you know that's that's the craziest part he's right He's right. This quote is absolutely right. There is no, there's, yeah, he's right. Round to see. But then again, we all have our jobs to do, don't we? I must be the Jesus, only one who wait. cares, but I all. That's actually deep as fuck. Am I high, or or is that actually deep as fuck? Like, like, answer that for me. A answer that for me. Am I high or is that actually deep as fuck? Because I, I, I kind of feel him. I kind of feel where, where he's coming from. Iraqi cooking that ambrosia. <laughs> and I ain't talking about the band, nigga. <laughs> I often nearly drown myself. Not in the sea or in a river. No, I narrowly escaped death drinking a glass of water. I only need a mouthful of water. This nigga is different as fuck. This nigga said I almost drowned drinking water. Nah, bro. This, <laughs> this SpongeBob ass nigga, bro. <laughs> bro. This nigga's an bro. Here, here's the wallace part, bro. Here's the, here's the wallace part, nigga. The whole time I'm watching JoJo, bro, I'm thinking, damn, he really know how to write weird ass characters. This nigga's just writing himself into the story fifty times. It's the characters aren't weird. It's just him. It's oh my god, bro. <laughs> this nigga is fucking wild. <laughs> This nigga is fucking wild, bro. He is wild. Nah, he can't be real. I'm starting to believe that this nigga's not actually real, bro. Oh my god. There's no way this man isn't some some kind of alien. People say Rohan is the insert. I think Meek. It's Miki Tak. Oh my god, bro. To suffocate, and I find myself unable to breathe. Generally, if I stay calm, I manage to get my breath back little by little. But recently, I almost passed out. That was a close one. That day, I miraculously escaped death. To everyone's indifference. Okay, this one is like unhinged. When I was a kid, I heard these sorts of rumors about manga artists. Manga artists secretly own real handguns and fire them in their basements. When manga artists get models to pose for their art, they make them get naked and stuff. There's an ideas guy called the brain. <laughs> There's an ideas guy called the brain. You can ask him about anything in the world and he'll tell you the answer. People what? say manga artists have to pull all-nighters, but that actually isn't true. They spend four days a week chilling at the golf course or their yacht. Which of these are true? I'm not telling. Yeah, <laughs> this nigga is secret. not fucking real. Know, won't fix my cavity because he says he's scared. It's not fair. What do you mean he? The fuck is in your mouth? <laughs> what is he cooking? What is he cooking? What is he cooking? What the fuck is he cooking? What the fuck is he cooking? What the fuck is he cook, bro? Somebody, what is he cooking? What is he cooking? This nigga said it's not fair. Oh, holy shit, bro! He got Cthulhu in there. <laughs> what did that dentist see inside a Rocky Xenomorph mouth? He scared of Rocky's vampire teeth. Oh my god. Oh, uh, bro. It was the inspiration for a blind, uh, blind guy uh, new dolls uh, stand uh, and part four Kenzo. Actually, that's a good 
point. <laughs> it's a good point. He's scared. What the hell kind of cavity did you have, Araki? I remember burying a time capsule with my friend 30 years ago, but I forgot where. Why the okay, fuck did you say that? The publication of Stone Ocean, he went on this like tomato saga. We planted three tomato plants and named them Tomachan 1, 2, and 3 from the east. During this time, a gardener suddenly came and told me that the tomatoes would fail. Tomatoes 1, 2, and 3 are now about 40 centimeters tall and all are doing well. More tomato news. My father called me the other day and advised me to thin out the stalks of my tomatoes. One month after planting, the tomato is 1 meter 20 centimeters long and has finally produced a small fruit. Long rain and wind broke the stalk of tomato number one and it died. He was 5 foot 9. Tomato growing report. A total of 21 tomatoes were harvested. At a cost of 16,000 yen, how much is each tomato worth? It was my birthday recently and I got more presents than ever this year. Why? It's too late to tell what? I enjoyed the movie the <laughs> Bro, this nigga nah this nigga this nigga <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this, no, listen. No, listen, listen, listen. Listen, this nigga said, this nigga said, why? Oh, I should have watched this video when I, oh, I should have been high watching this video. I would have died. Oh my God. I would, I would not have made it. This nigga said, why? <laughs> I would, I would do reprehensible things just to, just to, just, to, oh my God, just to talk to this nigga, bro. Like I usually, I usually, I'm usually not that, not that guy. I'm usually not that person where it's like, oh, if I could just, if I could just meet, meet this one, this one celebrity, oh, it would be so great if I could meet this one celebrity. I only, I just don't care about celebrities like that. I just don't care. Like they're, they're like, to me, celebrities are just normal people right so i never really care about meeting anybody uh any celebrities or any like you know people that are like considered famous they're just normal people to me this nigga is totally i need to meet him i just want i just want to touch the hem of his gucci belt and and just and just see if 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 what what that'll do to my life because this nigga just said why <laughs> Oh my god. Iraqi looks the the gift horse in the mouth. Jesus. Oh my god, bro. Rocky is the kind of guy to eat Popeye eat a Popeye's biscuit dry and survive. And survive. Bro, I niggas said what? Alright, bro. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Grinch. I think it's a good type of psycho fantasy film for children. <laughs> Regarding my lack of sleep, it seems like genetic code determines how much time a person needs to sleep. But recently, a strange event happened. Until six months before, I needed eight hours of sleep to have a clear mind. But lately, I've noticed that three or four hours are enough. I didn't want to sleep for eight hours anymore, even though I knew it was bad for my health. What caused this transformation? My change of diet? My pillow? It's a complete mystery. When I visited a prison for research in Miami, Florida, I interviewed the director. I asked him if the re <laughs> I wonder what he was researching. Reasons for each prisoner's incarceration varied based on gender. I had the mental image of men committing more heinous crimes and women committing more gentle crimes. The warden said they're the same. There's no difference between men and women. There are just as many murderers and rapists from either gender. A story from my childhood. When I was in primary school, what? I had a friend who was stupid. One day as we were playing, he sat on a flat. Imagine starting out, starting a, a, a story like that. A story from my childhood. When I was in primary school, when I was in primary school, I had a friend who was stupid. What, bro? We all know. <laughs> well, we know the inspiration for Okayas. 
Oh my god. Flower bed, which was actually some cacti with thorns so tiny we couldn't see them. His shorts were covered in thorns. Immediately he shouted, grabbed his behind, and began to cry as he stroked it, covering his hands in tiny thorns. Even if I told him that the thorns were invisible but still there, he compulsively licked his hands anyway. The thought occurred to me that we should stop being friends. My <laughs> editors generally only work during the afternoon. 20 years ago, I brought my script to the Shueisha building in the morning and showed it to the only person who was working at that hour. That person became the very first editor-in-chief of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and his impressions and suggestions were very important to me. If I had gone there during the afternoon and met another editor, I would have produced a very different work. Fate isn't founded on chance, and it has its reasons. Within JoJo, this viewpoint is taken as a fact. Not because it makes sense scientifically, but because that's how I feel about it. Okay, this, this wow. is probably okay. the most strange that's actually one interesting. Out of all of them. The most delicious food I had during my interview trip in the southwestern United States was Burger King. I Video's over. Stream's over. Have a nice, have a nice night, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Nigga Burger King. <laughs> this nigga said. This nigga said. The most delicious food I had during my interview trip in the southwestern United States was Burger King. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh, man. It's getting late. I'm asleep now. All right, brother. You take it easy. You take it easy. Thank you for thank you for coming through, man. Thank thank you for coming through. Really appreciate it. Holy fuck, bro. I want to know what kind of mega Burger King this dude went to, because Burger King is fucking gross. Just the idea that Araki is in, like, I assume he was around, like, Los Angeles, you know? He's got access to all the most high-class, fine dining, any kind of cuisine you can imagine. And at the very end of his trip, he's like, yeah, you know what? That Whopper was pretty good. When I got the flu shot, I was told that it wouldn't hurt, but it did. I cried. <laughs> I am addicted to the Twilight series. I want to so suck my blood, but I can't. It's something that was given to me, but I have a swimsuit calendar oh. hanging on the wall in my workplace. The Twilight series? <laughs> For some reason, I was staying in Twilight Zone until he said suck blood. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> In other words, I have 12 pictures of girls in bathing suits in my office. Nothing too naughty. Every time the month changes, I have to flip the page to the next girl. And somehow that makes me feel incredibly melancholy. I feel like I'm saying, goodbye, September girl. I'll never see you again. And then when I flip the page, I end up betraying her, already thinking, October's not bad either. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that a year goes by really quickly. When I was... What is he... What is he... What is he cooking? What is he cooking? What is he cooking? What is he cooking? What I I, I need to, I I would pay anything. I I would do anything if I could just fucking talk to this nigga and find out what the fuck is he cooking? I Holy fuck, man. Man is an enigma. <laughs> Walking around the neighborhood, I was attacked by crows, and they took my hat. They gave it back, though. Well, that was nice I'm taking. I know I'm pausing it a lot, but Nick, they gave it back. They, this nigga is spitting malarkey. What are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about, bro? This nigga is not. This nigga is saying the most outlandish shit. What the fuck? Oh my god, bro! I'm slowly starting to think that think part eight was just a manga version of his life. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Taking a yoga class, the yoga teacher <laughs> is a little on the chubby side. 
If that's fine with them, that's fine by me. Regarding a recent mystery, I have a sister in her 50s who fell and broke her leg. Is it minor? Is it a serious injury? How did it happen? I had absolutely no idea. She said she was going to miss the Iraqi family celebration. But when I called her and asked if her leg was okay, she responded with, <laughs> What in the world was that? Why couldn't she answer? My sister has a daughter in her 20s. But when I asked what happened to her mommy's leg, she responded with, <laughs> Just that. Are they asking me to use my imagination to uncover the meaning behind ha <laughs> What is ha <laughs> Alright, I thought this was the fun- No, 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 I can't do this. No, I actually can't do this. What the fuck? Bro, what? <laughs> Bro, imagine that. Imagine that. You'd call- you... Hey! Hey, sis, how'd you- how'd you break your leg? <laughs> Click. Hey, um, how'd your mom break her leg? <laughs> Click. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga, bro? Araki has to be the final JoJo antagonist. He has to be, bro. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like like Super Smash Bros. with with uh with Master Hand or whatever the fuck. He, he's gotta be the final antagonist. There's no way he's not, bro. There, there's his sister killed a man. Are you just uh, okay? Uh, uh, is that is that real shit? <laughs> uh, they've been assimilated. No, <laughs> no wonder he comes up with horrors around every corner. <laughs> First the crows, then the head, <laughs> bro. This nigga doesn't make any sense. Uh, part nine. Uh, part nine antagonist is Iraqi, and the Jojo, and the Jojo has to beat up his author. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is going on? Funniest shit ever. This is from an interview he did somewhat recently. But basically, him and the guy doing the interview were talking about like some some musical topic, and this came up. Billie Eilish's second album, Happier Than Ever, came out the other day. Have you listened to it, Iraqi? Not yet. I listened to her previous album though, she has some Prince-like vibes. She's kind of the leading star of today's youth. Araki, she is. But I also feel like music these days has a mentally unwell aspect <laughs> to some extent. Most of it comes from a place of pain, which is used to create sounds that strike a nerve in the listener. That's essentially what youth are like nowadays, right? Dude, Zoomer music Jesus blown Christ. the fuck out. <laughs> Just, Jesus <laughs> music Christ. Music these days has a mentally unwell aspect to it. <laughs> Who's stronger, Godzilla or Ultraman? That's been on my mind ever since I fantasized about it as a child. When I write JoJo, this topic isn't something I can avoid. Who is the strongest villain? What is strength and what is happiness? I think the strongest and most terrifying adversary one can face is something called Calamity. Calamity seems to attack at random, but is actually bound by a certain logic and comes to all of us equally. It's too powerful. Even thinking about how to overcome it may itself be impossible. Thus, Jojoleon draws to a close. Apparently- Oh, that was... That was... Really fucking deep. It's very reminiscent of, like... I, I like, I, I don't... I, I'm not a writer, and I'm, I'm not... I'm, nothing of the sort but it's very it's very uh reminiscent and and close to to a, a story i thought of one time um because sometimes i just i i don't have anything to do so I, i'll 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 think up shit and that's very close to it <clears throat> it's very very like almost eerily close to a story i thought of one time that that is wow and the way he explained it was spot on whoa that's whoa that that's really fucking cool actually that's actually really fucking cool i i i like that i like that now that, that was whoa whoa that, that was cool Only european countries like france or italy don't use the letter h very often they wouldn't really be able to pronounce hirohiko correctly it sounds something like iroiko or eroiko Eroiko Erotic Boy? Erotic Boy Araki. 
Well, that's not too bad. I'm satisfied. Actually, I'm starting to think it's pretty cool. All right, so this one's kind of just funny and weird. This is from an interview that there's a pretty good likelihood that you've seen the video of this, the video of Shoko Nakagawa interviewing mm-hmm. Araki. But the question goes, there is a rumor that one scene in the 20th volume of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure predicted the 9-11 attacks in New York 11 years before it actually happened. <laughs> Did Boingo really predict 9-11? Araki, yeah, that actually surprised me. I don't know why I drew such a scene. Shoko, you clearly wrote the word 9-11 in the laughing plane. I don't even know why the plane is laughing. You didn't intentionally draw the scene? Well, I don't know. I don't remember. I drew that scene as part of the story, but I don't know what it means. I learned about it recently, but I think it's just a coincidence. Yeah, so basically there's a part in Stardust Crusaders where Boingo uses Thoth and he sees like a dude getting skewered on a pole and his shirt says 9-11 and there's a plane in the background with a big smiley face. So yeah, it, it's a little weird, but... Whoa, what the fuck? Nah, this nigga different. I don't know, I don't think it was quite like, oh man, Rocky predicted 9-11. The person we really need to be talking about is fucking Boingo, who predicted 9-11 and did nothing to stop it. Okay, so this is really interesting. At one point, Araki's wife actually did, like, wasn't quite an interview. It was more like a, like a presentation, I guess. And this is full of some of the, like, funniest, weirdest accounts of Araki ever. Beginning of Romance with Araki. About 20 years ago, when Mrs. Chami was attending a friend's marriage interview, sitting across from her was a man, Araki-sensei. After that moment, Mrs. Chami said she immediately clicked with him. However, it seemed like Araki wasn't thinking of love at all. In that moment, she got Araki-sensei's number, and their friendship began. Three months later, they were were married damn araki doing a fucking marriage speed run Jesus. certainly the marriage had a speed a rating araki's first date araki would frequently go to a gym pool he was carrying his swimsuit to the pool when he got asked out by telephone when she arrived with a mona lisa smile araki said i'll be swimming back and forth in the 25 meter line a few times so just put your hair <laughs> the idea of this dude he's like <laughs> chami's probably thinking oh man we're gonna go on a nice swimming date like i picked out a cute swimsuit he's like all right i'm gonna swim just stay there (laughs) she was looking at the training schedule in silence while araki continued to swim when he gave her a sidelong glance she appeared to be doing the flutter kick by herself it sounds like a manga but it's a true story araki's fear of strangers back then araki was extremely shy for example, when Mrs. Chami's friend came over, he opened the door just half W Riz, Riz God. Stranger. <laughs> and immediately what? closed the door without even coming out. But at the 2003 Paris exhibition, JoJo in Paris, yo, we finally know who was in Paris. It was JoJo. <laughs> but he was what, I t- what did I tell you? What did I tell you? It's a nick. He's a nigga. He's a nigga. I know it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Oh my god. Meaning that no one from Japan would come, the successive chiefs of Shueisha arrived. Since then, his shyness has begun to be cured. Nowadays, he'll invite over 20 mangaka over for a party. Incidentally, when Mrs. Chami sees the mangaka arrive to the party, time and time again, she thinks, mangaka are a little weird, aren't they? Haha. So this is from an interview where- Imagine if coronavirus was was actually a stand virus. Oh my god. Golden Wind deals with the sorrow of being born. Been wild. No choice in life or only one place where one belongs. The sadness of a character that only exists in the dark underbelly of society. Human relationships, friends versus enemies, the beauty of betrayal. Those are the themes. It deals with the mafia. Can I use that term? Those are the motifs for the stand battles. The men are important. Beautiful men. Beautiful (laughs) men. There are women too, right? Yes, there are, but drawing beautiful men was the main focus. (laughs) The beauty in meeting one's doom. Men who can only exist in that world. That nigga, bro. Like... I, I never mind. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> yes, but the beautiful man. Oh my god. Araki, the bisexual idol. Jesus. Araki is exactly like me. We say, we say we're bi, but but we're beautiful men. Oh my god, bro. 
This nigga is different, Rocky, what bro. are you talking about? <laughs> Alright, so this is kind of a two-parter that I really wanted to include because, first of all, it deals with a pretty common question, that being, where does the name JoJo come from? And this is from an interview he gave for the Phantom Blood, uh, like the PS2 game that came out. I wonder if it's okay to say this. Um, the place I used to hold meetings with the editor was a local family restaurant in my neighborhood called Jonathan's. We were thinking of making the name Jonathan something, and you know how a name can be two S's like Steven Spielberg? I wanted something like that, so I thought, well, if it's Jonathan, then I'll start with J, so Joestar will be okay. But that was really adventurous for a shunned manga because it was taboo to have a foreigner as a main character. It was that kind of era. It was a big adventure, so I was really grateful to my editor at the time. And so many years later, he does another interview where he's asked essentially the same question. You chose the name Jonathan Joestar because your meetings were held at a family restaurant called Jonathan's, right? Rocky, what? Jonathan's? laughs what Didn't you want to make the name jojo i wanted to have an alliterative name like steven spielberg so the acronym would look like jj or ss but the family restaurant we had our first meeting at was denny's it wasn't until later that we started going to jonathan's no no you mentioned it was jonathan's elsewhere you stated it because it was at jonathan's oh that was more of a sure let's go with that type of answer it's better for these things to be interesting, what right? Araki-san likes legends. He thinks it's better for it to be interesting than for it to be a fact. That's likely the root of this. Legends are a requirement for the horror genre. Then the name Jonathan is... It was just to make the JJ alliteration. I didn't really take it from anywhere in particular. It seems what the, the origin fuck? of Jonathan has also become something like an urban legend. But it was definitely a Denny's at first. And what? then we switched to having meetings at Jonathan somewhere during the middle of serialization. It was convenient because it was close to Araki-san's workplace at the time. What Yeah, the so I think fuck? these kind of series of answers are really really interesting because like they say in the what the fuck happened to jonathan's what the fuck happened to jonathan's he's covering up for something what the fuck happened to, what the fuck happened to jonathan's and he said what about johnson's jonathan's <laughs> come on now come on we never come on now no we we never we never no jonathan's was not something that we did no no of course not of course not no, ridiculous, ridiculous. In the interview itself, it kind of adds to the like mystique of where the name Jojo actually came from. So since we're essentially weird. given contradictory answers, like since the Iraqi of like the mid 2000s was like, yeah, the name Jonathan came from a family restaurant called Jonathan's. And then Iraqi like many years later is like, I don't know if he just gave that answer because it would be more convenient or if at the time he genuinely what? remembered it that way. Cause like, I think a kind of like sort of bad habit that fans of media have when it comes to stuff is that they expect the creators of that media to be like infallible encyclopedias of everything that's ever happened, right? No, nah, definitely sort of thing not. Obviously, kind of depends from author to author. Like, they're just people at the end of the day. Like, they don't have one hundred percent perfect you're, memory. You're like, you just don't imagine give a if fuck. I sat you down and just started asking you like weird random questions about stuff that you you don't particularly care to remember and before we read our final quote there's one more interview i think you should really check out i'm not going to read the entire thing because it's pretty long but at one point araki and kaneko from smt and persona did an interview together and yeah it's really interesting they kind of just talk hmm. about like design inspirations like where the idea of personas came from where the idea of stands came from so if you like either of those series and if you're watching this like channel both there's of them. a pretty good chance that you do those then i would are. highly highly recommend going to the jojo wiki i'll have it linked in the description in case i didn't mention that but so yeah just check out the thrill interview from september of 2001 it's a really interesting read and our final quote reads who spends the most money on their clothes mista his sweater is cashmere and his pants are zebra striped leather pants. It's suspected that it breaks the Washington <laughs> Convention. Hell, Namista out here smuggling in illegal clothing. What? But yeah, I hope you enjoy this look through of some fuck? of Araki's like weirdest quotes. Just what a fascinating human being, right? Like, I think Araki. It's not Rohan? <laughs> what? What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, what is going on? What? Yeah, Rohan doesn't have that crime money. That's true. That's true. That is very, very true. What the fuck, man? Oh man, Iraqi, Iraqi, you, you'll never, you'll never see this.
but if by by but if by some chance fate does have you see this this video stream whatever just talk to me just i, I just want to have a conversation I, that that's all i just want to have a conversation maybe smoke a little loud but i just want i just want to have a conversation bro i what <laughs> dark 2023 <laughs> jesus christ i i just i don't I, I i just don't get it uh did you look at the at the part six cover arts yet uh i have not i have not uh but i definitely can i definitely can